What's up, guys? It's your boy. Which is better, a three-car or a five-car hauler? We answer the question right now. What's up, guys? It's your boy. Coming back with another video. In this video, why do I still run a three-car? Why don't I move up? What is the benefit of a three car versus a five car? Well, now this is strictly opinion. This is business model based. And this is not saying you cannot make money with a five car. This is not what I'm saying. There are plenty of guys that make money with a five, six, and seven car. What I'm saying is three cars do have their benefits. So, the a three car trailer, let's start with that because I've I have this is mainly the pros and a couple cons, but it's actually benefits of why I use a three car. So I can do with a three car, I can do single car drops and picks a lot easier. Uh, with my three car, it takes me a day to pick up and drop off a full load. Like if I get in town, I unload and I reload, usually takes one day. Now, if I have five cars, six cars, seven cars, nine cars, eight cars, whatever, it's going to take a full day just to unload. And then it's going to take a full day to reload. Unless you get one pick, one drops on your five cars. And I'm going to get to where that's beneficial in a couple minutes. So, the three car is better for... Single vehicle load. You know, where Joe Blow's got it here, Mary Moe's got it there, Negative Nancy's over there. You know, you just pick them all up and make it work. And then you got faster load and unload times, obviously, because I have three. Every time I put a fourth car on my vehicle, that fourth car takes at least an hour to put that one car on. Because I have to move everything up. I can't haul three cars all the way at the front of my trailer on a wedge you know to put the fourth car on the back it just it's not safe it's not it's efficient but it's not worth the risk so getting that fourth fifth sixth and seventh car takes more time to shuffle them now if you're doing a five car uh, trailer obviously it's different because it's made made that way and you can put all the cars from the front so but it does take more time to load and unload because you have to shuffle them around you know if your car's all the way at the front you got to take them all off and you're going to say oh well you got to stage them correctly what's the chance of you picking them up in the order you drop them off very very slim my friend so you could take a day at the truck stop or a couple hours at the truck stop and redo it. You could do that too, but it's just the three cars faster because there's less cars. Uh, and you, in a three car, you can haul just about anything. But now here's the problem with this, and I see it happening right now, and it's truly disgusting. You guys with the wedges. I have a wedge. I see guys putting two vans on a wedge, which is fine. Don't take them for under 80 cents a mile. You guys are eating them up out of Dallas for 58 cents a mile. And the day before, they were 74 cents a mile. But because guys are so desperate so quick, the broker's like, oh, they're moving too fast. Let's drop it down. And guess what happens when they drop it down? You guys eat them up. Stop it. Stop it. You own a business. Take control. Take control of your business. You don't have to be desperate. A desperate business never, never, never succeeds to its full potential. Because if you're desperate, you're doing something wrong. You're always playing catch up and you're not buying yourself enough time. Stop it if you don't know how to do it. And if you catch yourself in that desperation, get someone to help you that knows. Okay? So, and a three car is just more efficient 
when running um, like six to eight hundred miles. Like if you're driving a day, you don't want to take a day to pick up, drive a day, a day to unload, and a day to reload. Like for a one day trip, you're looking at, you know, what, a week? So the three and the four car trailers have their place in the business. Another huge benefit to that is your single car loads, they're readily available. They're everywhere. There's a car here, car there, car here, car there, everywhere. All right, so one car loads are readily available everywhere. Now, if you're running a five car, yes, you can get one car for fuel back. If you're buying a trailer and basing it on fuel money coming back, You've already lost. You should never base anything on fuel money. Because if you don't move, you don't have fuel money. So fuel money is a horrible, horrible thought process. Bad idea. And don't do it. But now here is the biggest, biggest, biggest benefit to a three-car trailer. But you've got to have the right mindset to do it and sell it. A person who owns that vehicle, their hot buttons are safety and reliability in getting a car in one piece. That's what matters to them. To, they're called POVs, privately owned vehicles. That is what matters. Getting it safely, getting it in a timely manner with no damage. It's not price driven. Yes, some of them are cheap. And yes, they want a realistic number. But that realistic number is based on your sales technique and your sales technique alone. If you can sell, you can succeed. All right. And now last but not least, another huge reason I enjoy my three car. You can haul taller vehicles. You have a lot less restrictions on height, width, you know, because in a five car, you're restricted because they got the rails. That's why I don't like stackers so much. Um, and I think in the belly, you can only go like 68 inches. It's a small car. So you're really restricted to building your loads. So that's another benefit for the three car. So now, running a five car... What do I see? Okay, so in order to be efficient with a five car, you need one pick, one drops. Or three cars here, two cars here. You cannot be running single POV cars. You Now, if you're running cross country, then you're set, like you will be okay if you're running cross country and you can get the right vehicles because if you're driving cross country and making, let's say you're getting 1200 a debt a car going out. And that's cheap. You shouldn't be doing that. So, but that's five, and what, $6,000 in four days. So you can afford to unload and reload, you know, at a day process. You can afford that because that's a whole week at six grand is what it should take. Um, and now another benefit on where you could utilize these trailers and I'm kind of toying with this idea. I just haven't decided yet. Local dealerships. Now, if you're the guy that has your local dealerships in your pocket, you're running the cars for 75 to 100 bucks. I know, I know, I know. You guys are going to say, I'm nuts, I'm nuts, I'm nuts. I didn't say I did it. There's guys that do it all the time. I, I see it all the time. They run 75 to 100 dollars a car. But it's only going 50 miles. Yeah, but how long does it take you? But that's for another video. So, if you're the guy that has your local dealership working with you, willing to give you the business, and you're moving multiple cars a week from auction, the five, six, or seven car, or even a Stinger, is your best friend. Because you've got your one picks, your one drops, you've got your short expedites, boom, boom, boom. But now here's a downside to that. A dealer is only worried about price. 
Yes, they're worried about getting it in a timely manner, but price is number one to them. They have insurance that covers it. Like that, they don't really worry about that. They have, you know, they can build the price in if there's any damage. You know, they'll just pass it on to the customer. They're strictly worried about price. So which means you're gonna run cheaper per car. You may make a little bit more money, but you're running cheaper per car and your maintenance is a little bit more. So that's my opinion on a three to the five car. Um, the problem with this business, as I see it right now, a lot of the guys buy the three cars, but they wanna do the five car work. And they do that because they don't wanna get a CDL. They don't wanna do the proper um, necessary stuff to run the business properly. And that's why they fail. You can't run a three car trailer the same way as a five car. Um, you know, so, and that's kind of why, like, I started my consultations and all that stuff on the, over on hotshotdave.com. You can get a, an hour consultation. You can get the mentorship and, you know, just, we're here to help and try to alleviate these problems. If you're going in knowing you're going to fail, don't go in. So, alright guys, that's my opinion on the three car versus the five car. Why I still run a three car. But why I'm considering moving up. All depends if I really want to change my business model. But, alright guys. Did you know who? So, like, share, do me a favor. If you want to run a business successfully and win in car hauling, hit that subscribe button and hit that ding ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.